Hello my lovelies, my name is Mia and this is my channel Mia Maya Makeup. Now today is my last episode in my Halloween week series and we are doing a steampunk inspired look. This is actually what I am for Halloween this year. I wanted to show you guys, this is probably one of my favorite Halloween costumes. It's super simple, super easy and I'm going to show you guys how I created this look. You should keep on watching. Okay, my lovelies, so let's get started. First things first is we are going to do our face makeup. I'm going to apply a matte primer. This is the Wet n Wild matte primer. I'm actually just going to scoop them on my finger and apply to the areas that I need. I'm just going to rub them in. I usually just rub this all on my face <laughs> and it makes your skin just feel so velvety just like that now it's time for foundation I'm going in with a mixture of the Rimmel 24 hour foundation and the wet n wild photo focus foundation You know, like, this year kind of stinks and you might not be able to do anything. I know where I live, they're allowed to go, but everybody has to wear masks and all that jazz. Which makes sense. You should be wearing a mask anywhere you go. But all that. So I just applied my foundation. Now we're going to move on to concealer and contours. So I'm just going to apply a little bit under my eye and a little bit over here where I have a little more redness and a little under my nose because I get really red there. Alright, I also put some on the center of my nose because we will be contouring it. Now I'm going to take my contour stick. We do want really sharp edges for this look, so this will not be the only contour I'm going in with today. And I'm just going to apply a small amount under my chin, just like so, and I'm going to blend that out with the I'm going to blend that out with the same brush that I just used. I'm really excited to work today though because I have a feeling that a lot of little kids are going to be coming in with costumes and I just think that's so cute. So I'm really excited to see. Our costume like people's costumes and all that I wish we could dress up at work like I wish we could at least wear like Halloween items because I have a witch's hat and I really wanted to wear it <laughs> that's not gonna happen I'm just going to apply some bronzer as I realized I forgot to blend out my under eye concealer okay I'm just applying some bronzer right I'm gonna go do my eyebrows and bake my face on camera and I'll be right back Okay, so now we're going to move on to the eyes. And first things first, we're obviously going in with the, actually we're gonna go in with the, my little Lancome palette. And I'm gonna be using the shade Plum, uh, Sunberry, sorry. The shade Sunberry. And we're just going to take that on a fluffy brush. 
and I'm going to apply that into the crease. And I'm going to be going back to my usual cat eye for this look. Alright, so I just applied that Sunberry and wung, wung it <laughs> and winged it out a bit. So now we're going to go in with my favorite palette, the Morphe X Jam Charles palette. And I'm going to take the shade T. And we're going to deepen up that crease. I'm going to cut my crease and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just finished a cut crease. And we're going to go back into that blending brush a bit. And going in with the shade T again. And we're just going to tap that around the outside okay just like that um now we are going to be going in with the shade shook and we're going to apply that all over the lid where i just did that cut crease Now we are going to move on to the bottom lash line. I'm just going to take Boutique and really smoke that out under my lash line. Just like so. Now we're going to be going in with a winged eyeliner. My gel eyeliner and I'll be right back with a wing on. Okay, so I just went in with a wing eyeliner and now I'm going to take the shade so good and I'm going to put that in my inner corner. And a little bit on my brow bone. Also applying some to my nose. Actually, I have, I have tons of fallout on my face. Okay. Okay, again, just going to apply a little bit of So Good on my nose. On my cupid bow. Basically anywhere you usually put highlight. And now it is time to move on to the cheeks and we will be going back to the eyes then to do some detailing around here. Okay guys, so I just came in a little closer so you, so you can see what I'm doing. So you guys can see what I'm doing. I am going to be taking these little things. I don't know if you can see them, but they're like little gears. I bought them off of Amazon. I'll put them in the link below, but they're just like tiny little gears. Make them in all different like shapes and colors. And I just thought these would be really cool these are safe for the face so they just so you guys do know it does i made sure to buy ones that were safe for my face but they're like good heavy duty they're not like plastic so it's gonna look a little more realistic and you're just gonna take some eyelash adhesive or glitter glue or whatever you like i just prefer this lash adhesive um it's latex free but it works really well and it dries fast so it's nice. And we're just going to take them and we're going to apply them to my face right around the edge of my eyes onto my cheek. And I'm just going to apply them in a random order. Um, basically just doing whatever I think looks good. And we're just winging it. We're really just going for it.
Okay guys, so now that we're done with that, I'm going to apply mascara real quick. All right, now it is our last step, which is lips. I'm taking a Hard Candy Metallic Mousse lipstick in the shade Penny Talk. And we're just going to, well actually first, I'm gonna take a lip liner, American lip liner in the shade Dark Nude. All right, now I'm going to take the Hard Candy lipstick. I'm gonna go get changed and I'll be right back. Okay, my lovelies, this is the end of the video. If you enjoyed, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. And this is part of my costume. It is just a corset and shirt. If you want me to, I will get them. I will link them down below along with the rest of my outfit, the goggles and this. They're all from Amazon. And it's just a very cute steampunk look. And make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Also, comment down below what you're going to be for this Halloween. Also, you should like subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications so you know when I upload my next video. This is the last video in my Halloween week. If you haven't got seen the other ones, you should definitely go check those out. There will be a couple right here. And I hope you all have a lovely Halloween. Until next time, my lovelies.